Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be a very long program today, but the thing is that whenever I do the awakening, and I then go and watch it on YouTube as well, I must admit, it does help me when I watch it. I get an experience of uh, some kind of recovery or something. It really does help me when I realize what it is I'm trying to teach. So I thought I'll teach you today what happens when you're meditating, you're ascending, you're waking up, and you get this realization suddenly um, that something or someone has triggered you to feel really, really so much unhappiness and so much charge because of this situation. I'll give you an example. Years and years and years ago, my best friend moved to Scotland. And um, it was very sudden and uh, cut me off um, because she was low and she had stuff to sort out. Now, it really affected me in a big way and I didn't really know how to deal with it. So I went inside and um, I asked Spirit to take me to where I needed to go. And so I went there on the timeline, I breathe, and it took me back to the womb. It took me all the way back to the womb. And in the, in the womb, there was another baby. Now, I never knew that I was a twin. I never knew because it was, the, it was such at a young stage of fetus that my mother was very big and everyone said, um, it looked like you might've been carrying twins. But this went all the way back to the earliest stage of being a fetus. And I experienced another baby in there, a twin. And I felt it and I felt it and I felt it. And I felt how my twin actually left. It was really bizarre. And I knew nothing, nothing about wound twin survivor. I knew nothing about vanishing twin syndrome, which I am apparently. And the diagnosis that you get of mental health um, a lot of the time, abandonment issues are coming from the fact that you lost your twin. And so I felt it and felt it and felt it, and it was unbearable grief. But the thing is, once I felt it and I came out of it, all my codependency and everything I felt towards this friend, um, everything, I'm, I'm much a mister, and I was confused and didn't understand why she wasn't getting back to me. It went, it went because I had figured out that this was not about her. Her soul or her, her, she had given me an opportunity to feel everything I needed to feel about the brother, the twin that I lost as a baby, that I was going to be a twin. And I never knew anything about it. And then I went on the internet and it confirmed vanishing twin syndrome and it confirmed that abandonment issues actually come from vanishing twin syndrome a lot of the time and not mental health not mental illness so what I'm trying to say to you is if you have a situation where you're really struggling and you can't seem to get the answer you can't seem to figure out what's really going on maybe you need to go inside feel it and now to be taken back and I'm doing a lot of work on myself at the moment and I've got another situation and that situation keeps taking me back to Dublin when I was taken from Dublin at seven years old and but it's not getting better and um, what I'm focusing on now so it's not taking the grief of Dublin away which is part of the ascension that child that lost their childhood, that lost everything at such a young age and was taken from safety to awards and everything. Lost everything all in one go. And so I need to ask, if this situation is not it, can you take me further back to feel what I need to feel? It could be a past life, it could be anything. So I, that's what I wanted to talk about today is everything happens for a reason. People come into your life and those people that are a bit like the little soul and the sun people, 
where you ask them to teach you forgiveness and help you to help you heal in some way. They're the ones that hurt you. They're the ones that mirror you. They're the ones that give you an opportunity to really, really, really feel what you need to feel. And once you've done it, the job is over. So either they leave your life or they'll come back and you'll be able to just get on with it. You know, like um, the family, uh, they're starting to come back now. And because I've sorted out so many issues and I've moved on so much. So their job was to do what they did and without going into it to help me be stronger um, and get to the level I'm getting to of ascension where I want to be happy and I want to be peaceful and I'm not in a different vibration a lot of the time now in a negative or sad or I'm choosing to live the life I want however I'm doing a lot of ascension and as I say when you do that you're going to get a lot coming up so I hope this helps you I didn't want it to be too long this this session um, join me live at 10 30 Actually, this won't go on at 10.30. This will go on a lot later, I expect. Tonight, I'm going to put on a program with Nicola Samblin, an amazing skydiver, a targeted individual. If you don't know what that is, watch him. And meditation. Meditation, okay? I am letting go today. I'm meditating for the amount of time I can, as I know this will benefit me and make me more aware and awake. Okay, so you're called today to meditate. So this is the awakening. And what I was holding here is hematite. Hematite really helps with EFT. Uh, not EFT. EFT. EMF. EMF. <laughs> EMF. Electromagnetic frequencies and this frequency. And also shungite with Wi-Fi really, really helps. And also aconite homeopathy completely healed the symptoms that I had from oversensitivity. So there you go. So I hope this helps you. Uh, join Moving On TV at night. Uh, Mo Moving On TV is going on at day and at night with positive information, positive messages, positive, positive fun. We might do a bit of laughter yoga. So join us, have some fun. Come and join the party. I love you a lot. Share this everywhere. Please subscribe, share and like. And if you want to make a donation, I'll put that in the description box down below. Take care. Love you lots. Bye.